Hi friends, it's Beady Eyed Beth. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this cute little sign that I have hanging underneath my doorbell on my front door. I purchased this small wooden plaque at a local craft store, and some of the edges were a little rough, so before I get started with painting, I decided to sand it with a flexible fine grit sanding sponge. If sanding isn't enough, I use some plastic wood filler to further smooth the surface. When applied in a thin coat like this, the wood filler does dry pretty quickly. Once it's dry, I use the same sanding sponge and sand it smooth. I like to seal the wood before I paint it. I find it gives it an extra layer of weatherproofing, and also it keeps the paint from soaking into the wood and you don't need as many layers of paint for complete coverage. If you're using a good quality outdoor exterior paint, you can skip this step. You just may need to put an extra layer of paint on. Sometimes I get a little impatient, so I use a hair dryer to speed up the drying process. I used my Cricut Maker cutting machine to cut out a stencil from freezer paper. I found in the end that it was the method that worked best. If you'd like to see the methods that didn't work so great for me, I've included the footage at the very end of the video. Placing the freezer paper stencil shiny side down and using heat from the hair dryer and pressure with my fingers, the stencil adhered nicely to the painted wood. I applied a small amount of paint to a sponge dauber and using light pressure I tapped the paint onto the stencil. Don't be tempted to press hard because that will cause the paint to seep under the edges of the stencil and will give you blurry letters. 
An example of this can be found in the footage I added to the end of this video. I was really happy with the result, but as you can see it needed some touching up. I used the leftover blue paint to clean it up, and using the small bits of the stencil I had weeded out, I filled in the missing portions of the letters. I then used the black paint on a detail brush to sharpen up the edges where needed. I could have stopped here but thought it lacked something and decided it would look nice with black and gold edges to frame it. I'd read online reviews that said this brand of gold metallic paint went on nice and thick, so I decided to give it a try. This is where I ran into a little trouble. I knew that I'd need two or three coats to get the heavy metallic look that I wanted, but the slick surface of the blue satin paint made it difficult for the gold paint to adhere. My first thought was to thicken the paint, which I did with gel medium. When that didn't work, I thought if I could make the surface of the blue paint less slick by giving it some tooth, then the gold paint would adhere better, and I was right. I had some clear gesso on hand and applied two coats where I wanted the gold paint to go. This did the trick. Because I hate waste, I started out using the gold paint that I'd mixed with the gel medium for the first coat, but then switched to straight paint for the second and third coats for a more saturated color. I was really happy with the end result. I touched up the black paint where the gold had overlapped. After I signed and dated the back with a paint pen, it was time for varnish. <laughs> 